Hello Southern Lights and welcome to 2019. I hope everybody had a great holiday uh, during Christmas and New Year. So we start the year uh, with January and for this month uh, we're going to be having uh, gardening for kids as our learn group activity. Now we're going to have uh, three activities uh, as a lead up uh, for the event. Uh, the event is going to be this Saturday uh, at CCF second floor. Uh, the time is going to be from three o'clock to five o'clock. So it's just going to be a two hour activity for us. So there are three things that I would like uh, you parents to do uh, as a lead up uh, for our activity. The first one would be a planting activity with you and your kids. Uh, the second one would be a coloring activity. Uh, these things, these two things, these activities that, um, that you're going to be doing with your kids, you will bring to the event because we are going to be using them for uh, our learning session. Okay. And lastly, since the event is going to be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, it would be great if you can uh, bring healthy snacks. Uh, whether it's uh, fruit salad or veggie salad or you know anything healthy uh, that you could share to the families would be great so for example you know something like a bowl like this big you know should be enough all right so the first activity that uh, we're going to be having uh, you do uh, for your kids is planting and uh, let me first clarify that this first activity is designed to fail all right um, I think that it's it would be great for kids to learn about something um, that they fail in and then on Saturday we will teach them how to do it properly so that they can observe their own work so the first activity would be planting and basically what well, simple I know everybody is pressed for time so nothing elaborate here so what I would like for you to do is get something simple, whether it's a bowl or a cup, or if you have Coke bottles, um, just, you know, this is the bottom of a Coke bottle that I just uh, cut. And what I would like for you to do with your kids is, you know, have them fill it up with soil. And then, you know, if you have a plant, if you have a garden, uh, whether it's a flower or a plant, just cut the cut a piece so you you know of a flower or or any plant that you have in the garden fill it up with soil and just stick it in okay so as it leads up as we lead up to the week um, hopefully the plant is still alive by Saturday all right but uh, we're gonna be using that as a prop for the activity uh, as well as the games that they're going to be having the second activity is going to be a coloring uh, session with you and your kids and I'll have another video linked to this uh, you know that would instruct you how to do something simple uh, whether you you draw it on a piece of paper or you have it printed I'll, I'll send it uh, I'll link it to this video okay now the third thing that I would like for you parents to do is um, hopefully you can Go to the supermarket, find time. Uh, every supermarket and every big hardware store carries these, and it's a planting growth kit. Okay. Um, basically, when you, you know, in your activity leading up to the uh, session or the event this Saturday, um, this is not going to work. Okay, the plant's going to die, and I hope it actually dies so that, you know they get interested in how to do it properly now the growth kit again this is just 160 pesos um, and again every supermarket carries these uh, but if you can't find it in the supermarket which i doubt um, ace hardware Wilcon, they have a gardening section and they will have one of these this is a growth kit and this is designed to actually work very easily why because in the growth kit it already has a fertilized soil it's got seeds and what else does it say here so it's got this so I'll just read it off it has a fertilizer 
it's got seeds it's got a raising medium which is the uh, bowl itself and the it's got a plastic pot and saucer so the saucer the cover serves as the um, the, the bottom so when you're watering the plant it doesn't make a mess so I think this would be great uh, for you to bring so that uh, we don't make a mess inside CCF all right so I am going to include the list at the bottom also because um, we've already posted our family names our preferred times how many kids are be, or adults and kids are going to be coming but I want you to also post uh, what you're going to be bringing uh, just to make sure that uh, everybody can bring some other variation of their favorite healthy snacks so I promise you no chit chat on this time around that we're going to be bringing okay so I hope to see you guys uh, soon in the next few days and I hope you enjoy the activity that you're going to be having with your kids for the next few days planting and color see you guys then all right, as I promised, I'm going to add a little something here to help you out, uh, just to show everyone how simple um, what I'd like for you and your kids to be doing, which is going to be uh, art or coloring. So in this case, uh, just a short uh, video um, about how to go about it. So basically, uh, all you need to do is try to find a picture on the internet. Um, just open up a web browser all right and then i want specific pictures of bees uh, we're going to be needing that for our activity so on the search just type in bee picture all right then go to images all right and then have your kids choose um, a cute bee of their liking each kid should have one of these okay so in this case i'm picking this cute guy here now once you have the image up, just right click on the image and then save and then choose a folder where you want to save it. Okay. All right. Then once it's saved, all right, just close the browser and then open the image up uh, using Word uh, will do, but I prefer using Publisher because it's much easier to edit and uh, resize the image by using Publisher. Alright, so let's open up Publisher. Now choose the landscape mode, okay? Not the portrait mode, but the landscape uh, format. Okay? And then, once you have the document up, just go ahead and insert. Insert a picture. All right, and then find where you saved your B image. All right, insert or paste. And then fill in the entire page. So you need to resize your image. All right, there you go. And then print it. All right. All right, so in the same way um, that each child should have a B picture, um, again, just a reminder, uh, each child should also have a plant, okay? All right, so now that you have your picture, and again, it doesn't have to be a printed picture. You don't have to get it from the Internet. Um, all you need to do is just to have a picture on a letter size um, paper, okay? Um, you can draw it if your kids have a gift of artistry. They can draw it themselves. They can color it themselves. But again, the uh, printing uh, or picking up an image in Google is just really something if you're pressed for time. But once you have your uh, printed picture or you know uh, whatever your kids had drawn uh, we just want to make it stiff okay so what we're going to do is going to take a barbecue stick make sure to cut off the tips so nobody gets pricked all right and then you know just put in 
uh, glue to make sure that it doesn't fall off and just to make sure that the picture stays in place because um, on Saturday kids are going to be running around with it so we don't want papers flapping around all right so put a barbecue stick on top of the image the back all right and then put another barbecue stick there in the middle all right and then the handle they're going to be holding it from the bottom as they run around with it all right all right so just a quick uh, reminder for everybody uh, so the event is going to be gardening for kids january 19th saturday uh, from 3 p.m to 5 p.m it's just going to be a two hour a short but fun and educational event for the kids as well as for adults so just a quick reminder number one please make sure that every kid brings a plant and again it doesn't have to be fancy just a makeshift cup just uh, put soil in it and then stick a plant or a flower on there number two please make sure to bring the growth kit okay because they're going to be using that um, in a non messy way on how they go about planting it and three um, please make sure to bring the bee picture because they're going to be playing games with the picture of the bee uh, running around the room okay and lastly healthy snacks all right so i hope to see everybody there uh, from now until then everybody take care of themselves see ya